I'm Rob Whitfield with the Orange County Register and welcome to OCM2 for Wednesday, June 18th. Foreclosures in Orange County are at a record high, with 1,000 reported last month alone. Some of those foreclosed homes end up at auctions like the one at the Anaheim Convention Center yesterday. It's a chance for potential buyers to find a deal, providing in some cases they're willing to put in a little extra money and work into the house. While he awaits his trial on drug and accounting fraud charges, Broadcom co-founder and billionaire Henry Nicholas is holed up in a pricey, luxurious rehab facility. Prosecutors call Cliffside Malibu a $63,000 a month gilded cage and tried unsuccessfully to convince a judge to send Nicholas to a more modest facility. Cliffside Malibu offers high-end facilities like a gym and pool, detox doctor, masseuse, psychiatrist, and food for all dietary needs. Earlier this week, Nicholas pled not guilty to all charges against him. His trial is scheduled to start July 27. After a register investigation into the potential abuse by Orange County Sheriff's deputies who receive overtime pay, the Orange County Board of Supervisors has ordered a far-ranging performance audit of the department to look for any money mismanagement. Newly appointed Sheriff Sandra Hutchins says she agrees with the audit. So the real issue is we're approving that overtime for them to work. Is it necessary and is it is the most efficient method? The Board of Supervisors did not set a deadline for when that performance audit must be completed. And as if unveiling one new attraction wasn't enough, yesterday Disneyland opened two. At Disneyland, the Innoventions Dream Home debuted to annual pass holders, and it'll open to the public by the end of June. And at California Adventure, now you can join Woody and the Toy Story gang for a limitless supply of interactive 3D action on Toy Story Mania, where it takes more than 150 computers to respond to every single pull of every guest spring action shooter, and to each and every move of the tram. Weekdays, watch Daybreak OC from 6 to 8 a.m. on KDOC and catch Real Orange weekday evenings at 6.30 on KOCE. To read more about all of these stories and to get your breaking news all day, click on OCRegister.com.